you should use Git and GitHub for your next coding project. Welcome to another episode. Today we'll be talking about why you should be using Git and GitHub. First off, Git is a distributed version control system for tracking source code. On the other hand, GitHub is a web-based hosting service for Git. The first reason you should be using Git is for version control. Version controlling allows you to keep track of all your history. Think of it this way, if you're playing a game and your character hits a checkpoint and the character so shortly after dies, the character doesn't actually have to start all over from the beginning. It actually restarts from where it left off, the last checkpoint. Committing your source code is exactly that. You're actually making commits, which are checkpoints. This allows you to actually experiment with different types of approaches. If something doesn't work out very well, you can just go back to your last commit or your last checkpoint and try this reapproach with something else. Number two, using GitHub. You might be wondering why I say GitHub instead of the other competitors. So right now there are GitHub, Bitbucket, and GitLab. These are the three most popular web hosting services for Git. I did some research on the numbers and currently GitHub has about 30 million active users. On the other hand, Bitbucket currently has about 5 million users and GitLab coming in at about 100,000 users. GitHub is by far the most popular hosting service for Git among the different developers. Number three, show off your projects and your coding skills. GitHub is a great place to show off your project to different people. I have seen companies, when you actually apply to their companies, they actually ask you for your GitHub handle or your GitHub URL. They want to actually try to go in and see what kind of projects you have been working on in the past. This isn't the case for every single tech company, but I have seen that trend and, and some companies that might hire you might actually look into your Git repository. If you haven't worked on any personal projects recently, I would even recommend just putting up your class projects that you worked on in the past. It might not be that impressive, but it's still something that you can show off to other people and actually talk about what kind of workflow, how, what kind of logic you put into it. Number four, open source projects. On GitHub, you'll see so many companies hosting their open source projects. The list of companies range from Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, even Apple. They all host their open source projects, not something that they privately work on. That I'm pretty sure they keep it private. Some of the very popular open source projects could be Microsoft's VS Code, Facebook's React.js, um, Google's TensorFlow, and even Apple's Swift. Their language is actually open source and they host it on GitHub. Number five, code review. So Git actually doesn't necessarily have this feature, but this was a feature that was built on top of this. Once you start working with different teammates, you're gonna have a lot of code. And to keep a consistency and some kind of quality or a level of expectations in the project or the code, it's great to get a second eye from another developer that you're working with. You can submit your code changes as a pull request and ask for a code review. Then your peers can leave comments or some kind of suggestion based on the code quality. They might say, maybe you should change the name of this variable, maybe you should try to keep it consistent with the conventions of the language, the program, the project, the company, the organization, whatever it is. By having this code review, it's more likely that your peers might find some kind of bug or potential issue that you actually haven't thought of or seen yourself. Therefore, you can reduce the amount of mistakes that you might make right in writing code programs. That was five reasons why I suggest using Git and GitHub for your next pro coding project. For me personally, while I was learning programming, I was expected to use Git and GitHub without actually understanding why and the benefits of these tools that they provide to me. Now going looking back, I completely understand why I should be using Git and GitHub, but it would have been much better and much more easier for me to understand how to use them and why that I should be using them. If you like this video, hit that subscribe and like button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.